on this episode of Auctioneers. Oh, ho, ho. living, breathing reptiles are on the market. That is bizarre. Well, I have this wonderful camera. A garage sale shopper hopes to expose a big profit. Will the photograph actually turn out? Oh, ho. A family in need of quick cash trades in their wild ride. Hey, this thing handles awesome. These were made in Paris. And a collector grabs the spotlight with a piece of French history with some Hollywood flair. They were in the new Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp. I was like, oh, God, I have to have these. They're all going to the highest bidder on auctioneers. $300. Yeah. When we're selling an item, what we really try to do is bring the story to life. So we have to do a lot of research, find out what the history, what the provenance of the item is. And for this week's auction, our CEO, Deb, has a lead on an item that story started halfway around the world. These are the glasses. These are beautiful. Oh, thank you. I found the opera glasses at the antique show outside of San Francisco in uh, San Mateo, California. These were made in the Palais Royal area of Paris about 1860 to 1880. Americans would come to tour Paris and they'd want a souvenir. So many people collect opera glasses because they have such a history with the aristocracy. So I think a lot of buyers are interested just because of that. And the glasses were also recently used in the Johnny Depp, Tim Burton movie, Alice in Wonderland. Wow, that's great. So you rented those out then for the movie? I did. They wanted red items for the Palace of the Queen of Hearts. I think that anything that adds interest to the piece always makes it more valuable. These are really going to do very well at auction. Coming up, the auction kicks into high gear. $25,000 And one bidder wants to win at any cost. She seemed like a nice mother, but I'm not going to lose to her. Money's on. 75. Uh, 75. Now 400. Auction day has arrived, and as our staff completes their final prep, buyers are starting to check in, and they're eager to see what unique items and stories are up for bid today. The main attraction of the day is clearly the opera glasses. With a history from Paris to Hollywood, they're definitely getting a lot of looks. And I brought my kids because we thought it would be uh, something fun to do. And then I saw those opera glasses. I thought they were just really cool. And then I read that they were in the new Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp. So I was like, oh, God, I have to have these. Any item like that, it's a one-of-a-kind item. That's a personalized item for the person that bought it. The craftsmanship is amazing. And the fact that Johnny Depp used them in that movie, it's worth money. So that's a piece that I want. Oh, this is one of my favorite pieces. 1860 French Paris opera glasses. And to sell them, we've turned to our lead female auctioneer, Letitia. Okay. The opera glasses were used, get this, on the latest Johnny Depp movie, Alice in Wonderland. That's right. And I know that if you're like 99.9% .9 of the women in the world, the fact that Johnny Depp even touched them gives them more value. Here we go. $250. Get it at $250 now. $250. $250. Thank you. I was really excited when the auction started, and I couldn't wait to bid on them, so I put my heart up first. $250. Bid to $75. Bid to $75. Bid $300. $300 now. Give it now. $300. When I was bidding on the opera glasses, there was this lady with two beautiful kids. She seemed like a nice mother. She's got great kids, but I'm not going to lose to her. I'm sure she's going to buy something nice today, just not the opera glasses. $500. Now, $600 now. She gets hooked in good. She got hooked in at $250, and immediately Immediately we've got some action, so we have a good, strong war going on right now. Our biggest story this auction day is a pair of opera glasses that have traveled from 19th century Paris to Hollywood to right here in Phoenix. And two bidders are refusing to back down as the price continues to climb. Now I'm not competitive. I don't think I'm really fierce, but I became a little competitive at that point because I'm like, I want those. I kind of thought I was going to get them right away, but then she gets aggressive, and then it was going back and forth, it was getting heated. I don't like to lose. 1,000 bid 1,100. 1,100 of the back bid 12. $200 bid 13. It's kind of like a game. It's like a game you play with somebody else and you get that fever of wanting to win. So that was exciting for me. $1,200 now, 13 now, 2 now, 3 good now, 3 $1,200 now, 1300 now, 14 good now, 1400 now, 14 now, 5 good now, $1,500 now. I went as high as I could go. I had a number in my head, and once I hit that number, I just couldn't go any higher. $1,400 good now, 5 14 bid 5 Close now, 
$1,400 to the lovely lady. Congratulations. Oh, it's fun, exciting. It's exciting. But they talk so fast, it's kind of hard to understand. And in fact, I need to make sure exactly what I ended up at.